hello friends uh, recently actually I checked some comments and I saw here a question asked by some Ely Selena six from Singapore I forget the name uh, anyways uh, and she's asking if nth term of an arithmetic progression is 2n plus 1 find the sum of the first n terms of the arithmetic progression how do you do it <laughs> she has asked me how do you do it right so exactly I just copied the comment and I just po post it over here well uh, how to do it here since this is my AP and my nth term is 2n plus 1 right so my nth term or term nth term is 2n plus 1 right so uh, in this way if you go what you can do here that see here if n is 1 means the first term will be how much 2 times 1 plus 1 so it will be 2 plus 1 that is 3 in this way if you go t2 what you will get here you will get 2 times 2 plus 1 right so you will be left with 4 plus 1 that is 5 2 is enough but one more I am gonna do it here t3 I mean to say term third term it is right so it will be 2 times 3 plus 1 again and it will be 6 plus 1 that is 7 in this way you can go right in this way you can go because this is your nth term now so so what you are getting over here you're getting here what is your first term what is your second term third term so this information are enough to calculate the sum of the first n terms all right so here my first term that I is right generally with the a that is 3 right and my common difference d equals to generally uh, the difference of any two consecutive numbers so here if first term is 3 and second term is 5 or second term is 5 and th uh, third term is 7 so easily I can calculate my common difference will be here 7 minus 5 you can do 5 minus 3 anything you can do that is your 2 here and now you need to find out sum of the first n terms how much it is alright so uh, we don't know the value of n how much n there are how many numbers there are so directly I'm going to use now we know the formula of sum of n terms that is uh, n by 2 in the bracket 2a plus n minus 1 times the common difference so here my n I don't know that's why I'm writing here n by 2 but here you know few things I know so whatever I know I'm going to write here 2 times first term first term is here my 3 so I'm going to write here 3 and then plus n I don't know that's why I'm again writing n minus 1 but I know the value of common difference that is 2 right and the bracket closed and again n by 2 right so 2 times 3 that is 6 in the bracket and then n minus 1 this 2 will multiply this n you will get 2n and this 1 it will multiply by this 2 so you will be getting minus 2 and in the next step what you can write n by 2 times whatever you have 6 6 minus 2 that will be 4 plus 2n and uh, here here is also 2 that is 2 times 2 and here is also 2 so I can take 2 common here and n by 2 times 2 n plus uh, actually it will be 2 plus n it will be 2 plus n and here you can easily now cancel out this 2 and this 2 and your answer is going to be n times n plus 2 right like this you need to find out this is my this is my sum of n terms so my sum of n terms directly I can write sum of n term is n times n plus 2 so this is my sum of the n terms right if you know the nth term then you can easily find out what is your sum of the n terms right so I hope uh, Ili Selena 6 somehow <laughs> I'm sorry I, I hope you understand this question and if you have any more problem then you can ask me I will try to solve if I'll get some free times and 